Welcome to Cricketry on the Papere.com. I'm reporting here from Kingsmead after the second day's play, a day in which South Africa rested control of this match. Uh, we talked about yesterday that uh, Sri Lanka's batsmen needed to stand up. Unfortunately, the top order wasn't able to do that. Uh, Dimut Kanaratna and uh, Osha De Fernando, the overnight batsman, departing pretty early on in the piece. Uh, Sri Lanka lost five wickets in that first session. Uh, there was a little bit of fight from Sri Lanka and that fight centred around uh, the new bowler, the debutant left-arm spinner, uh, Lasit Ambuldenia, who, uh, who batted extremely well, batted very bravely against some pretty hostile South Africa bowling, Kagiso Rabada and Dale Stain coming at him at uh, 145 Ks plus an hour. He put on a partnership with uh, Kasun Rajitha and was very impressive in the, in the way that he didn't throw his wicket away. He, uh, even though he got hit a, a couple of times, he didn't back away. He, uh, he wasn't uh, playing shots that he didn't, needed to pl didn't need to play. And uh, he was also impressive with the ball later on in the day. Uh, after South Africa got a 44 run lead, he came out, got two wickets for 36 runs. Uh, and uh, he seems like uh, one of the key men going into that third day. Sri Lanka desperately needs some wickets. South Africa are now 170 runs ahead. Uh, if Sri Lanka can, can get the remainder of the wickets, uh, the, the six wickets that they need, and keep South Africa South Africa for, for less than a 250 run lead, they have a chance of, of coming back in that fourth innings and, and, uh, and maybe making a run for that target. However, the, the problem is the batting. Uh, Sri Lanka haven't scored 200 across in the Australia tour and in the first innings here. So the batsmen really need to, to show what they're worth. But before that, the bowlers have a job to do. This is Andrew Fidel Fernando signing off from Kingsmead.